Today in our Engine Week series, we speak with Don's Dream Machines about their 118 horsepower modified O200 engine. Coming up right now. Uh, we're talking about an engine, an experimental engine, an O200 that we built for Robbie and Brian over at Central Arkansas Aircraft Repair. That's a mouthful for you, that's for sure. But uh, this little engine right here is one of the common engines that we build. Uh, all the small Continental engines really uh, from the O300 down from, um, uh, and this particular guy right here, like I say, it's got all new parts on it, new cylinders. Everything's been gone through and overhauled. One of the nice features this guy is the guy that uh, they're putting this airplane together for, um, the Whitman uh, rear wind. But this guy has the E mags on it. All right. Uh, like I said, this one has the E mags on it. Great system, nice strong spark. Uh, one of the best things about them is you can clock them in any position you want. Uh, everybody's used to with the, uh, the traditional m magnetos where you install them in the engine and then you final time them with a little twist, but the timing sequence on these is completely different. So you can put them in any orientation you want. Really makes it nice for clearances, keeps them out of the way, however you want to put them. Uh, the other benefits, of course, is a really strong spark. Timing these couldn't be any easier. Um, literally, you put the prop in position and all you have to do is blow in the manifold pressure tube and they're timed and they're synced. I'm done. The other thing nice about the E-Mags is you use regular Denso spark plugs that you automotive spark plugs and automotive spl spark plug wires and uh, you, know, you can buy them from O'Reilly's or Johnstone, order them online, whatever you want. So it really uh, cuts the cost on, on your expenses there. But you know this particular engine, like I say, is just a standard O2 or O200 engine that we build. You know one of the things kind of neat at Don's Dream Machines here you know, we have engines all over the world. I mean, literally Germany, France, England, um, Chile. Chile, Brazil, Canada. Australia. And, you know, we're real proud of our reputation here. And one of the things is because we don't cut any corners here. Dodge Dream Machines, you know, in my opinion, is probably one of the, you know, no bragging, for, you know, but maybe a little bit, is uh, the premier engine builder when it comes to these. Matter of fact, uh, you know, Continental Engines themselves, right here in Mobile, Alabama, um, actually refers people to us. And the reason to do that is because, you know, we have the answers for these little guys and we have the parts and pieces and, um, and we know what we're doing here, so. Just a, an O200 experimental. So it's all, all Continental, it's just experimental mainly because the airplane is going in. We build our own 201 cubic inch experimental engine for the Patriot aircraft. Um, we're calling it a 201 EX. Um, on that one, using off-the-shelf parts from Continental, but in a kind of non-standard configuration, we're able to take those 201 cubic inch and get about 118 horse out of it. And that's Dino too, that was done years ago, but the thing is, is, you know, we don't want to give all of our secrets away, but basically what you wind up with is, is higher compression pistons, uh, different cam inside of it, a little bit of port and polishing, but uh, one of the most important things that we've added to it to really make it run even at really low idle. I mean, you could take our engine with these E-Mags and at 500 RPM, it's just sitting there cadillac -ing. I mean, it's crazy how, how nice it is because it basically adjusts its timing based on manifold pressure. So anyway, so by adding the E-Mags now with density altitude changes, your engine is going to really perform good throughout that range. So, so having the E-Mags with our 118 horse just makes it this smooth as a kitten. The EMAGS automatically retard spark based on manifold pressure to build power at higher RPM. Hey everyone, let me take just a moment here to thank our sponsors that make all of this possible. Great companies like Airworks, AirTech Coatings, Clemens Insurance Agency, Acme Aero, Stoll Creek Aviation, InFlight Cam, Wheelin Aerospace Technologies. So take a moment after this video to say hello to all of them and remember to check out the affiliate links in the description below. And remember, 
just build it. Let's get back to it. Now for the really important question. People want to know what is it, what does this cost me and what is included in it and what does it weigh? Okay, uh, our little engine that we build here, you can send it to us, you know, if you've got a good O200 core, uh, that's the big thing right there where you can save a lot of money. But basically, if you buy one of our engines outright, now this is without magnetos or a starter, um, and a carburetor will be the Stromberg carburetor. If you want a marble, you'd have to purchase that. But it starts out at 18.5, and then you'd have to have the magnetos and a starter if you want to do that as well. But this little guy right here, I mean, when you get it, it's got brand new cylinders on it. It's got the high compression continental pistons in it. So they're, they're again, off the shelf parts. So it's stuff that you can buy them. Um, like I said, different cam, continental cam in it. It's not an aftermarket cam. Um, so you're getting an engine that's been completely overhauled to continental Teledyne standards. Um, so even though it's brand new parts or yellow tag parts, it's an engine, like I say, that, uh, that's really reliable, really tough, and um, you know, proven technology all the way around. Not, not again, not something that's just been thrown together. So all yellow tagged, they're all new parts for you, ready to go from Dyson's Dream Machine for 18.5. And what should this weigh in at compared to an O200 typical or? Well, that's the thing is, you know, uh, O200s, you know, they, they, they got claims of lighter engines, some of the new O200Ds. But this little guy here, when we build it for you, if you want our true light, lightweight version, we'll use magnesium accessory housing, magnesium uh, push rod housings, aluminum intake tubes. We can have this engine under 200 pounds for you, you know, out the door, um, no problems whatsoever. One of the questions that we get is, uh, what's the delivery time on this engine? Well, depending, again, what time of year it is, there's always leads and lags and supplies but usually anywhere from six to eight weeks, we can have this engine built out right for you. Um, one of the things as we move forward, we're probably gonna start keeping one of these on the shelf, but um, cores, cores are very important. Um, if you've got a good core, usually you can take about 3,500 bucks off the price of the engine if you have a good core. Um, the crank is the biggest one, obviously, because if you have to have a crank, you know, then it almost negates what your core's you know, value is, unfortunately. Because we're not going to use the cam, all we're going to use is the gear, and we're going to use the case um, and the crank. Those are your big things for the core is concerned. Um, as far as, again, um, if you want one of these engines, I tell you, you really can't c compete with fuel economy. This little guy right here, uh, specifically this one right here in this airplane at 2350, is running about 3.9 gallons an hour and you just can't beat that. 2,700, then we start getting up in the six gallon an hour range when you're at full power. But uh, 3.9 gallons an hour, folks, you can't hardly get that with a, with a 65 horse engine. And now you get something that's 118, so pretty darn good. How you can get a hold of us? It's real easy. Just call us at 205-230-5787, or you can send us an email at Don's Dream Machines at yahoo.com or our website that's fixed to be up and running is Don's Dream Machines LLC.com. Thanks for watching this episode of our Engine Week series. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and be sure to like this video. Thank you for helping me to grow this channel to reach more people about experimental, light sport, and ultralight aviation. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.